Starting at the top of the boot, we have a nice finished edge. You'll note the integrated hand pulls, uh, much different than traditional fire boots that have the strap, which often breaks, pulls your hair, gets hung up on your liner. The front of the shin area has lots of heavy duty uh, padding for our shin strike. In addition to that, there is some material on the back of the boot. The secondary purpose of these two pieces of material is to prevent boot rollover once the boots and pants are stored over an extended period of time. You'll note the red leather stripe on the side of the boot. 3M Scotch Light reflective piping, very, very bright when hit with a uh, light source, it allows traffic to see you as you're walking. Also, if you're crawling in front of somebody else, they're going to be able to spot you with their flashlight. On the back of the boot, the heel counter serves two purposes. The prim primary purpose is the heel counter is actually what keeps your bottom of your foot locked in the boot as you walk so your heel doesn't pop out. Secondly, the, the, the heel counter is used when the often firefighters take off the first boot with the other boot and they do this motion. On the front of the boot, just like a knee pad on your bunker gear, is a heavy duty exterior reinforcement here on the toe cap area. Very important is the Vibram Fire and Ice Rubber Compound, one of their most expensive rubber compounds for the U.S. Fire Service. This is our design. We created this lug pattern and the gription here in the ladder shank area to expel water. The lugs are also, also of different heights, so if you're standing on something that's not, a, not even, the different height lugs will help even that out. Most importantly on the sole is the raised toe and the raised heel. Like a pair of athletic shoes or running or walking shoes, the boot sole is ergonomically designed that you actually land on a large portion of the sole of the boot as you're walking. And then this is kind of a roll toe effect. When you go to leave, you're also doing a gentle roll off the toe. So high marks for many, many firefighters on the comfort of these boots, both the combination of the material in the design. A couple other minor features on here. You'll notice a relatively wide throat to the boot. This allows a firefighter who has a larger foot or possibly a high arch is able to get his foot into the boot. More importantly, is able to get his foot out of the boot. On the inside of the boot as a WL Gore Crosstech Moisture Barrier also has a removable insole. This insole starting from the bottom I'm gelling like a felon. This is poron, the exact, exact same shock absorber that's used in Dr. Scholl's. The light blue is memory foam. Over time, the toes and heel will form a bed and go into the same position. Then on the top of the foot sole is our micro dots that are part of the antimicrobial system. In addition to that, they also promote blood circulation on the bottom of the foot with the micro dots. Obviously, they are removable and replaceable. Thank you. Thank you.